So, um, today is going to be a video all about water towers with beacons. Water towers with beacons are very sick. So, um, yeah. If you don't know why I didn't, I usually I have a daily upload thing, but I haven't uploaded um, in like two days. I don't, I don't know. I haven't keep. I, I wasn't keeping account, but the reason why is because I'm um, literally my math class is falling apart. Um, some missing homework there got me, uh, got me a freaking F. My parents they're just like, oh, 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 hell no, yeah, ain't gonna happen. And, um, yeah, kind of, kind of stuck in a loop of math crap, so, um, yeah, have been busy, I have been on Discord as well, uh, yes, welcome to Discord, before I, before, um, before the video really begins, just wanted to, um, show you some stuff on Discord, just in case if you, if anybody is who, who if any, um, if if any tower enthusiasts are are watching this, like uh, Maker Ten and Motor Two K, they'll probably want to join this. Um, if you do, then you can just create a, a a Discord account, and I can invite you to um, my Discord, which is um, the Spicy Strobes, and there's a few more Discords as well, like um, like some fun ones, like the um. The, the mystery, which I just created because I was bored. And then um, the color people server, which is not racist. You can see um, we just made a little gag for a little bit. I, I was a golden person. There's a there's a red person, a blue person. There used to be a purple person. That was Aiden. And there used to be a golden person. That was me. But I, but I changed my name and profile pic. Um, but it looks like um looks like this hasn't um looks like this have it hasn't updated because it's still saying that I'm golden person. But I think the um, and there's also a green person as well. You can see the uh, the somewhat of a profile pic there, but without the uh, you can see the profile pic, but without the eyes and mouth. But you know, you guys should um if you guys want to join this and then uh just create an account and tell me the name of it or something so I can invite you. I don't know how Discord really works, really. Water towers with um, cell antennas on them are very, very memorable and satisfying to see. But water towers with cell antennas and a beacon is even better. This here is in a sample of that. This here is your average looking water tower. You know, the ones I usually... Um, that you'll see in your everyday life. Um, and it also has cell antennas, which most water towers I know of do. They have cell antennas and other smaller antennas and all that stuff. But it's kind of rare. It, it's rare to see a water tower with a beacon, especially with cell antennas. But I do know three of them at least um, in my around my area. So um, they're all in my state. This one is. It's close to. Uh, it's. It's in Ozark. This here has a single strobe on it. I, you can actually see somebody up there. I wonder what's going on there. But somebody's somebody was climbing a tower. I can. Is that a marker? You know, let's talk about that later. But there. The the person up there is blocking the beacon. He's probably working on the beacon, trying to replace uh, a bulb or something. What well, the the strobe? Not too sure. But um, there is a beacon on here. I even made a video of it, so you're able to see a beacon. Oh, hey, look, that's not a marker there. I uh, he's still not able to see it. I really wonder what's the deal with Google just blurring random stuff out, like for for one frame of Street View, within the next frame it's not blurred out, as you can see. Kind of stupid. Okay, if you guys look in the in the, in the very middle of the of the platform, the cell to the platform thing, you can see a single strobe up there. I also um I. I do have proof that it is uh, a sing I do have um, some proof that it well I, it's pr I have some proof that's a beacon 
my video and in, in another video that I've seen of this. And here's proof that it's a white only beacon. Or I should say white only strobe. Okay, here is the only video that I know of that um, that um, showcases um, the water tower at night. And it's fast forward as well, so I had to slow it down so you can see what so you can see the flash better. But um, it looks like it's going to take a while until we actually reach the tower itself. Um. I forgot, I forgot what I was going to say, but um, soon we'll see the tower. Hopefully. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. I'm already impatient. Hmm, hmm, hmm. It's going to take a while. It, just wait. I'm going to pause the video real fast. Okay, never mind. I think we're right. Oh, we're right on it. You can see it down there. It's just down there. You can see its strobe flashing on night mode. There it is in all its glory. And it also has, uh, I think it has some lights pointing at the water tower itself. Because it has uh, a, a, a business name on it. I think that's a business name. I don't know. But it's there. You can see it has a single strobe for day. It has a white only single strobe along with a few spotlights. Uh, I don't know if it still has a strobe light or not. Hopefully, because um, there is no evidence of um, there is no evidence of modern white only. Uh, if there is no evidence of white only modern LEDs, so if you um, so if the if the beacon on that tower gets replaced, then it's going to um, it's going to get replaced with a white and red LED, and I and I don't want that to happen because it has a white only LED. I mean, it has a white only strobe on it. It will be cursed if you replace it with a white and red LED. So yeah. You know, when I first seen this ta this water tower, um I thought it had a dual strobe on it. So when I saw it when I when it was dark and uh, when um when it was dark, I expected it to shine white until I mean expected to shine red. Is what I meant to say. Until I seen it from a distance like from there, you, you can see it, there's a little bit of a hill up there. But I seen it from a distance, and I was just like, "Oh wait, it's not shining. It's it's not shining red. That means it's a single strobe, or it's either on emergency night mode." But guess what? That's a that is a single strobe, and um, I only seen it shine white along with the video as well, where it's shining white as well. So it's a single strobe, a white only one as well. It's a white only single strobe. It would be nice if there was a, a another water tower built next to it with um with an incandescent beacon. Oh come on! Now that my phone is on fifty percent, fifteen percent, it's probably going to die here in a, in a matter of seconds. Next, oh crap! Street view is not my friend right now. Uh, you can't see the beacon either. Okay, so you you can see it now. This here is, um, I consider this to be the, the first Branson Water Tower. That's what, that's an, well, the first Branson Water Tower along with the third Walmart Tower. Those are the two nicknames I give this water tower. It's also, uh, it's also a cell tower hybrid as well, since you can see all those little antennas on, on the legs. So it's not just a water tower, it's also a cell tower. So that means all four main Walmart Towers are cell towers. So you can see the tower has the opposite of of the single strobe, the one that was on the last tower. There it is. I did film this um, going to night mode, going from day mode to night mode twice. First time was on accident. The second time I I um, did it on purpose. I I I I was just out there filming it until it went to night mode. Um. So yeah, that was a part of the part of the gigantic Branton arc of of, of July twenty twenty. Man, that was nice. A little break from the pandemic, I say. It was fun. So you can see the beacon. Um, I don't know if it used to have a set of markers back then. I don't know. 
but I think I think um I don't think he always had this beacon. That's why I'm going to say uh, there's another water tower down here that has the same beacon and all that. Yeah, I spoiled it, but you guys should already know what this is. It is the second Branson water tower. It's also a cell tower hybrid as well. The cell, t I mean, there, there's cell antennas on top along with cell uh, cell antennas um, in the middle. So yeah, um, back in 2011 and around that time, um, this tower used to look a little different. It had a different paint scheme. The 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 bowl or the tank or bowl they call these bowls on this type of water tower structure but it used to be mostly green but now it's mostly white somewhere around 2015 i think it was painted to what you see now and before that i kept on looking for the beacon but i couldn't see it anywhere so either it was either it may have been beaconless before or it must have had um must have had um I don't believe this thing was beaconless. Actually, if this has a beak, if this has a beacon, then why would it have been beaconless in the past? There, there I know there. There's an airport at, um, at Branson. That's the reason why both of these water towers have beacons. So yeah, um, it must have had a set of markers in the, in the past. Until um, the tower owners were just like, you know what, foggy days. Those markers ain't bright enough. So they brung out the strobe. Since it has a really bright day mode. And the same bright. in the night mode that's a, that's somewhat the same bright. It's the same brightness as what markers have. So um, yeah they're just like you know what let's upgrade it. So they did. And they also added some cell antennas as well. Which I don't think there was that. I think um, half these cell antennas on here. We're not on the tower before it was painted. So, yeah, I also made a video of this tower um, on day mode and night mode. Sadly, I did not catch this going to night mode. There is, um, there, there is, uh, there, there was one time where I seen this on emergency night mode. It was some news report in Branton. I don't know, but um, they point out the water tower to show the the little art the the little um artwork that they have on t on the tank and um i seen the strobe it was it was uh, it had a slow night mode flash or i think it it's it was, it was either a slow night mode flash or um it may have been a quicker one i i'm imagining it having a quicker one even though that um that's not the the that's not um what emergency night modes have but that's why I'm picturing. I think that's why I remember. But for some reason, it made me believe that it, it made me believe that there's another water tower in Branson that has another beacon, but it was a single strobe. But I didn't find any in my um in my trips to to Branson. So yeah, it must have been this one because it looked just like this one. So yeah, it was on emergency night mode. Sadly, I don't know what news report it was or anything. I don't remember. It was a, it was a long time ago. Somewhere around 2016, I think, or 15. Yeah, probably 2017. But I don't know what it was. I'm not going to be able to show you it in the video, sadly. I know, I know. I wish I had it as well. So, yeah. I forgot to mention both water towers um, are markerless. They don't have markers on them. They only have beacons. So um, yeah, that's another fitting touch that um, that the towers have. Usually, water towers with beacons they usually don't have markers. Reason one, it's because they have white only beacons. Reason two, it's because I don't know, but it but some of them have white and red beacons without markers. There's only one water tower that I know of that is half water tower half radio tower and it has markers but they're right they're right below the tank they're not in the middle of the tower it it's a it's um the the water tower looks um, like this one it's the same this it's the same type of water tower but it was much wider it has the same beacon as well it has a lot and it had a lot of markers so um, yeah let's let's move on Alright, so um, those three water towers I showed you earlier are 
probably the only three water towers I know of that have beacons in my area. Other than, other than that, I can't find any more. I don't know any more water towers with beacons in my area. All the others have markers, or they're either markerless or beaconless. So, yeah. Um, but... Thank God there's some more water towers in other areas that have beacons, like these two water towers I'm just about to show you. Um, feast your eyes on this. Oh yeah, I forgot. It's slow. The problem has been fixed. I, ha um, for I forgot to put it back to normal speed. So that's the reason why it was slow, and I'm going to try to amp up the, the quality here as well so you can see the beacons. Okay, so um, you can see now. Uh, never mind. You can see both of them have incandescent beacons. Not, not that sure what type, but it looks like the taller one has a modern incandescent. I'm not too sure about the small one. These must be at an airport somewhere because this, even if this because the small one has um, a working beacon, it's really really rare to see. So um, there's that. This this video is very very hard to find. It was incredibly hard. Oh crap! Oh no, guys, guess what? I forgot one water tower that has a beacon. There it is. This here is uh, the Lebanon, um, the the Lebanon water tower, and um, that's a a hornet, I think, or a yellow jacket. Not too sure. I've, I'm not too sure. I'm not into bugs or anything that really stings. I fear them. So if you guys don't know already, this this tower, this water tower has both an an old school incandescent beacon. Along with a set of side markers on the tower, um, and there, it's on top. It you can see it's right next to the incandescent beacon. So yeah, it's it's really rare to see something like this. And all of you guys are just going to be like, "Holy crap! You're incredibly lucky that you guys had, that that you have that you have one of these." Well, guess what? I got bad news. The incandescent beacon doesn't work. The markers. On the markers next to it work. I think the markers um, were supposed to replace the incandescent beacon, but they left it up there to rot. So yeah, if so yeah, as you can see, the markers are the only are the only lights on the tower that work. Sadly, yeah, I was disappointed. I, I like um like I think it was a. Uh, Around early, earlier 2020, um, I found I discovered this that, that this had an incandescent beacon, uh, and I was just like, "Holy crap!" I after all these years of of passing by this town to go to Springfield, at least a few times every year, I never noticed this. <laughs> so, um, uh, so yeah, I was really excited to see if it if it would work, and guess what? Um, one day we were leaving Springfield and it got really, really dark because of a storm. It got darker than, than dark faster than usual. I was just like, yes, finally, this is the, this is my one chance to see it. And then guess what? Markers were the only things that were working. I was just, just like, wait, what? Those were markers? What? And then I found out, oh, wait, yeah. There it is. I see the thing. There's markers and a beacon on top. I see. I see. So yeah, sadly the the incandescent beacon does not work. It used to, I think. It must have because I I don't know why they would place a beacon up there, and then just not have it work. So yeah, it kind of it, it really really sucks. Even if it just has some markers, you you um. You could you could have just put the markers um you could have spread the markers apart like um you know just a, a few feet away from the beacon so both of them can work at night. Nope, you didn't want they didn't want to do that, and it's right and it's right next to the um, the Lebanon Airport. And now I can't even find it. Uh, come on, 
There it is. Um, there's the water tower. And there's the airport. As you can see, that is an airport. So yeah, it's really a big thing. Well, you can see why there's a beacon on the water tower. It's a big shame it doesn't work. So um, yeah, there's that. Here's a drone video of the tower. So um, I can prove that that's an incandescent beacon on it. You can see the base of it. You can see the clear glass. You already know. Oh, you can also see the markers as well. So yeah, that's not, that can't be anything else. That's that's an incandescent beacon. We all know that. It's, it's it's a it's really it's really really tragic. It no longer works. Uh, they shut it off. Either they shut it off, or the person that was supposed to maintain this is complete trash. Uh, here's another drone video. Since um the other drone video, the guy didn't get too close to the water tower. It wasn't close enough. This one's closer. So. You're able to see more of the beacon. And I gotta hurry this up. Phone's about to drop dead. You always have to stop. You always have to stop. And I had to just uh, hold on. You know, every time I had to watch a video where um, th where there's a beacon on the tower, I always had to set it to a really high um, setting, a, a video quality. Only if my phone will let me. Every time I go to a new video, it automatically sets me to three hundred sixty p. Um, and every time I change, it, the change is not permanent. Uh, it's still kind of blurry. It's bull crap. Oh, hey, look, you're you're able to see it now. Um, there it is. And and you also ha you can also see the markers. Uh, this is too slow. It's taking forever. Oh my god. My phone, my internet is a uh, reliable piece of, is unreliable piece of trash. Yeah, there it is. I forgot all about this water tower. So, um, yeah, let's, let's just get out of here. Here's the next water tower, which has a solar beacon on it, so um, it may look very big, but the actual light is very small, and sadly it's LED as well. But um, I'm going to try to raise the quality of this. See, my phone always puts um, the quality, the, the video quality as 360 every single time. I always have to change it, but it's never permanent. Not like my tablet, where if you change it, it's permanent, unless if you change it again. So yeah, um, still kind of blurry. So um, you just have to sit through this. Oh, you're able to see it now. There it is. There's a there's a little beacon on it. Like ninety percent of it is is um, ninety percent of it is just some giant box with the with the um. Oh crap. These ads are stupid. Here's another water tower that looks um that it, it's the same exact type of water tower as uh as the second Branson water tower. So um let's just look at this. It also actually let's let's not spoil it. I want you to see. So it's tall, you can see. The beacon, not the water tower itself. The water tower is really small. So it must be ne it must be next to an airport if it has a beacon. So yeah, there it is. It's kind of, this guy is slow at pointing up to to the tower. Okay, there it is. It's still kind of. It's blurry, but you're able to see it. There it is. That's the Flash Technology FH324, the same beacon that the that the two Branson water towers have. Very cool. Sadly, there is no video that I know of at the of, with this thing on night mode.
at night. Eh. It's sad. It really is. It would be nice to see all these towers on night mode. So there it is. And this. Oh, wait a second. Holy crap. I never actually known this. That, there, there's markers on this tower as well. So if I'm correct, they, there's an opportunity that they work. So the beacon will will go will flash red and marker and the markers next to it will will that would work. Hopefully that's the case. So you have one steady light and another one blinking. That would be really cool to see. So it looks like the original lighting system for this tower was a pair was a pair of markers that are next to the beacon. That is cool. I never never I never noticed that from this tower before. I really hope there's a video of this tower at night. If not, then it's going to be that I'm going to be disappointed. Here's something else disappointing. There are no cell antennas on this tower, not that I know of, at least. Maybe I can check the base again. But let's watch the rest of this video, so you, so you can see the beacon flash a little bit. So um, never expected this guy to get to get so close to the beacon. Holy crap! I guess the reason why is because there are no cell antennas. I guess that's a, I guess that's um, that's a pro to this to this water tower. Wait a second, is that is that a marker? Is that another marker? I don't know. I keep on spotting something. I spotted something that looks red. You can see that looks red. I don't know what that is. There's also a wire as well. That that can't be. Okay, guys, I don't know. There's wire. There's three wires. That that's that's an LED marker. Holy crap! This has markers. It has side markers. Holy crap! It, so it has um a set of it has a dual a, a one dual marker set and and uh. A three pack, a three pair of side markers. You can see there's one, and there's two more wires behind it that that go over to the to the other beacons. So yeah, that's very very cool. I never noticed that before. Two, there, those are two things I found out about about watching this video. I didn't watch this video all the way. I only I stopped halfway through after I seen what beacon it has. And I kept on searching for more water towers I know of, that I don't know of, but but have beacons. So um, yeah, that is a really that those are those were two cool those discoveries were awesome. Two discoveries in one video. I really hope there's a video of this at night. All right, guys, I'm going to tell you this right now. The um, the net the next water towers here are very very interesting. The the water towers set the, the the water towers um themselves will look like plain water towers um but the, but um but what they both have is interesting and the this the yeah you just do just watch the video just watch as you can see on the the water tower on the the water tower on the left has it has an old school incandescent beacon. The tower on the right has a has a set of markers on it. Ah oh, man, you gotta be kidding me! But this is a this is a very cool. I I really hope that incandescent beacon on the other tower works. I really hope the markers on the, on this tower here works as well. If not, then then I'm not going to be happy about it. it. Would be nice if the other tower had a had a um some strobe light like a. A flash technology single strobe, a white only as well. I don't know if the tower with the incandescent beacon has any side markers on it. I really hope so, since um, old school incandescent beacons usually come with two sets of side markers. And if so, and, the, and if this has mar if this has side markers on it, then it means that it has two sets, maybe, possibility. So you can see, I really hope there's a video of this at night as well. There's also some more towers in the background. Like, I see a gray one with strobes on it. And you can see a smokestack as well. And two um, and two red and white towers as well. Their guide. So maybe I can 
type up. Maybe I can find a location of this place. Maybe there's a video of this at night or pictures at least. Maybe I can find a video of it at night and see if if, if they work or not. If the, if the beacons on the water towers work. I really hope so. Alright guys, I'm pretty sure this may be the final water tower uh, on, on this video. Not too sure, but um, not too sure, but I can't, I don't have any more videos of any water towers with beacons. And there's only four water towers in my area that I know of that have beacons. So yeah, this, this, this is probably going to be the end of the video here after the, well, this is going to be the final boss of this video. And I chose this to be the final water tower of the video because it has... Um, it has a set of markers on top of it, but guess what else it has? Let's take a look. Even though that some of you, that every that all of you guys probably won't like the beacon choice of this water tower, let's let's um dive into this. There it is. There it all is. I'm going to try to um, get some high quality here. Uh, I just realized I'm still recording. Oops. Ah, uh, gee. 480. There is no 7P. I don't know why. So, um, here. Yeah. We're going to try to watch this video in in the highest quality as as possible. Though, do ex though I do expect a lot of pauses. My internet is very slow. It's very crappy as well. If it can't even handle some some, qual some good quality like um, 720p or 1080p, you, you can see it's not. It still isn't. It's not working. So um, there there's a beacon. That I'm I believe that that's a crappy LED or something, or I don't know. But I, I believe it's a crappy LED. So you, you can see, you can also see it a, a little bit as well. So, um, there is no, there is no video that I know of of this at day. So I don't know if that's a day and night mode LED or white and red LED. It's probably a night mode only LED, which only shine red. So yeah, there it is. Would be nice if it had an incandescent beacon. It would what would have been even cooler if it, if it had um if it had a um a white only single strobe with a old school well, I mean with an old school incandescent beacon um above it for night mode, and the marker still worked as well. Like oh, crap, that's the end of the video. I, the heck is this? I don't remember this. Oh, I remember now. It's just another water tower. So, um, that's going to be it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys later and bye. <laughs> oh, what the heck? Who is that? Oh, uh, you should know who I am. Wait a second. You're Yes. I I have said I will make my return one day. But how I thought you were long gone, fool. I have only begun.